Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSlyShop.com Bringing you another nymph pattern today. I've been off the nymphs for a while here, so I'm going to get back on them a little bit and uh, hopefully bring some more dry flies to you here. I've been playing a lot with CDC and really like that, so expect some dry flies coming in the near future. But today I want to share a nymph with you, and uh, the more I nymph fish, the more I do this Euro nymphing, the thinner my flies get, the smaller they get. And uh, this is one here, this is a great example of it. It's just a quill body I'm going to tie with natural quills, Polish quills. And um, just going to make a nice little hot spot quill bodied nymph. It's going to be a great mayfly imitation, it's very small, it's going to shoot to the bottom just like you want. And uh, it's really easy to tie, it's actually a really quick video. So sit back and watch it, here's the fly and the material list to tie. Alright, let's get into tying this here. You see it in the vise. Um, this is the way I'm going to fish it here. This is a size 16 with a 2.8 millimeter jig. I mean, slotted bead. That's the way I'm going to fish it. But for video quality, I'm going to throw a size 14 in here. Now this is a, like I said, I'm going to pretend that I'm tying it on a size 16. So it's a size 16 Holsinger's Fly Shop jig hook with a 2.8 millimeter bead. The next thing I'm going to do is put on some fluorescent pink thread and I'm just going to start that right in there behind the bead and put it into place so it doesn't move. Now I'm going to bring my thread back here to the bend and I'm going to keep my wraps to a minimum on this fly. That is one of the keys to any quill fly, quill body fly, is I want to keep it to a minimum Next thing I'm going to do is tie on my tail, which is some cocktail on, about eight or so fibers there I like to use. And I'm just going to put two or three wraps, hold it in place, and then we're going to adjust it to where we want it, which is right about there. And then I'm going to wrap it forward, and like I said, no more wraps than you need. Now that I'm there, I'm going to put my quill on. These are hand strip quills, um, Polish quills. These are really nice. Sometimes they help if you soak them, but I'm going to do it without soaking it. Now you see here, there's a little bit of the peacock still on here. I'm just going to trim that off. And the way I'm going to tie this on is I'm going to tie it on a little bit tight on my first two or three wraps. And then as I get back here to the tail, I'm going to loosen up on my wraps. By doing that, it's not going to cut into that quill and make it break so easily. And then I'm just going to wrap right back up. So you saw how thin I'm keeping that. That's the goal here. Keep your body thin. Then I'm just going to put that in my hackle pliers. And start wrapping. Oops. And still you're going to break it sometimes. So now that I broke it you see, I'm going to unwrap rather than just tie this back on. I'm going to get back in there and get this unwrapped to the point where I take that quill that broke off. And again, we're going to loosely wrap it in there and wrap forward. And we're going to try it again. Okay, now. If I leave a little bit of that pink thread shine through on the tail, that's fine. I don't mind an extra hot spot. A little bit of extra flash never hurt anything. And we're just going to wrap this forward. I'm going to wrap that up there as far as I can and tie it off. I just make like two wraps and pop it. Now, this quill, if you do not seal it with something, it's not going to last. But you want to seal it lightly so you don't add too much body to it. So I'm using a little bit of Solar Res Bone Dry on there. Just hit that with the light. There you see we kept that real thin. 
and then we're just going to hit with a little bit of dubbing, just a touch of dubbing. And I'm going to use some uh, Yon Simon Peacock Bronze. Use anything you want here, whatever color collar you want to make. And uh, this is a great Mayfly imitation, Mayfly Nymph. So how much? I'm keeping it very, very thin, keeping my wraps to a minimum. And tying off a head here to make just a tiny little hot spot. Oops. And that's all that's to that little hot spot quill. Okay, you saw there, that did not take me long to tie it at all. Uh, very easy one. The only thing that's a little bit hard is getting that quill to stay on there and wrap on there without breaking. So, you know, do a little bit of practice. You'll get onto it. It's not that hard. You can soak them. That will make them a little bit more pliable. Just soak them in a cup of water before you're going to use them for a little bit. And uh, that'll help out sometimes. But i just been tying them right out of the pack, and like I said, they'll break a couple times. I actually did it in the video, but just go back, unwind, tie it back down again. Keep it thin. That's the main thing. As few wraps as you can possibly put to keep that body thin to match the natural insects in the water. So, hope you liked this one. If you did, please take the time to subscribe to my channel. Um, shoot me a comment down in, the, down in the comments on the description there, and... Uh, all the materials you need to tie it, you can find in the description. So, thanks for watching everybody. Until next week when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.